Hey there, Prepper people, it's Noah again. I am positively amped up to bring you a video that I think you are gonna be charged up for today. I know the car is gonna be charged up for it, or at least I hope it will. Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a sec. All right, so for today, what we're gonna be using is these two EcoFlow Delta Pro portable power stations. They're 3,600 kilowatt hours, expandable at 25 kilowatt hours. Additional batteries are 3.6 kilowatt hours each. They are 3,600 watts max output, or excuse me, 3,600 watts output with a boost of up to 4,500 watts per unit max. So 9,000 watts between the two of them. 1,600 watts solar input, up to 6,500 watts combined charging input. So that would be between solar, uh, if you had a level two charging available to you. Uh, and in fact, they actually do have a level two charging adapter called an EV Extreme adapter, which we don't have here, but we'll have a link to that down below in the description as well if you want to charge these up when you're charging up your car at a remote station if those are available to you. Um, we're also going to be utilizing the EcoFlow double voltage hub, which is right down here in front. That thing there. Uh, combine, that combines the two units for AC output up to 7200 watts and 240 volts. So that means you could actually run a welder off of this, which at another point in time I'll probably try doing that as well just to see how that works. Uh, today we're just going to be charging up the car. Now, extraneous stuff, but kind of fun stuff that we're going to be putting on here as well, is we're going to be uh, using the Bluetti SP120 solar panels. We have two of them over there. They're portable solar panels. Uh, they're 120 watts, 23.5% efficiency. They're going to be charging one of the units up. The other ones that we're going to be using is those folded large Bluetti PV200 panels. Uh, they're 200 watts, 23.4% uh, efficiency, and uh, folded size is 23.2 by 24.8 inches, which and the 16.1 pounds. They do fit perfectly, believe it or not, actually in the back of the bulk, which is great, so you can actually carry them around with if you want to. Um, to do this, we actually did have to have a, a one-tack NEMA power adapter, which I'll pull out of here now, and a Bouge RV EVSE, which is inside this box. I'll probably get it open for you. But you'll see. It's just a standard EVSE. And we needed a power adapter to be able to go from the EcoFlow to the EVSE. So we got one of those as well. Links below in the description for all this stuff so that you can do this at home. And you can do this at home. We'll be back. All right, so now that we've been introduced to all the stuff that we're gonna use to actually charge the car up today, let's take a look at the car. Now this is, like I said, a 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. EV. It's a little dirty. We've been taking the dog around for it and walks and stuff like that. Let's see what we got for miles remaining on the dash here, if I can see. Looks like we got 63 miles remaining. Plug in to charge. We're going to be doing that. Don't you worry, sweetheart. So the Bolt EV, this one has had the battery replacement, so it has the 64 kilowatt hour battery in it. Standard CCS outlet there. And let's go connect these things up over here and see what we can do. So the first thing we got to do is we got to join these two beasts together. So in order to do that, you're going to utilize this device here. <clears throat> Some of these nice little pieces of Velcro holding everything together. These doors down here open up and these doors are actually where your connectors go. So if you're going to use two of them together, which obviously you're going to if you're going to be using this device, I recommend staggering them like this so that there's a little bit of space between them. And what you're going to see is there's this little nubbin here. That nubbin goes to the front and it actually hooks in there to make it a positive connection. So when you push them together, snap, snaps together just like so. And then on the other side, <clears throat> you have the same thing. Move this out of the way a little bit. Same exact thing, same exact connector, same nub, little latch, shove it in, they're connected. Once they're connected, if you turn the power on in this thing, it automatically turns them both on and gets them ready to rock and roll. How fantastic is that? Now I'll show you before we even plug in the uh, solar panels at all, I'll get the EVSE out and we'll start charging the car. So that's just a matter of getting the right adapters. So you can see that this plug 
I don't know which number this is, but we'll have the numbers actually in the below in the description as well. We'll plug directly into this adapter. This adapter will plug directly into there, like so. And if everything's done correctly, we'll see power right there. Beautiful. So we're gonna plug this guy in and hopefully we'll see a green light come on up there on the dash. Yellow and green. So that should mean we're charging. Now let's go see what we got over on the EcoPro. Delta Pro's up. Here's some noise. That's a good sign. And we're charging. And if you take a look at those screens, you'll see we got about two hours worth of juice there. And we're bringing down about 1,900 watts per box. A total of 2,800 watts roughly going into the car. And that's about a little less than half of what the car could actually handle going into it on level two charging. I think it's about 7,000 watts somewhere around there. Charge that the car can handle. And uh, I'll set up the solar panels and we'll see what we get. Okay, got both solar panels set up. I'm only gonna go with the two solar panels, I think, for now. Because like I said, the 120s really aren't gonna give us a heck of a lot of juice. It's more just for academic purposes than anything else. We'll do with the 220s or the 200s. So, we've got them connected up. As you can see, they come out of the back. There's actually, built into them is the cables, just like the most portable solar panels. You can see the cable right there. So just run along the ground, up to the standard solar outputs, and then this adapter, and then this adapter, we're actually gonna plug right into here. So you flip that up, you see you got a solar car input. So you can charge off your car, you can charge off the solar. We're going to be charging off the solar. So flip that up. Plug that in. Do the same thing with the other one. Flip this up. Plug that in. And let's go around to the front and see what we got. And you'll see this one's already started charging. So we're putting out. 1900 and we're taking in about 150 ish you can see the sun's not really high yet it's still pretty low and this one over here similar I'm going to avoid the shadows 150 ish better than nothing and pretty cool and like I said that'll take up to 1600 watts of solar so obviously it would cost you quite a bit of money to get 1600 watts of solar once you've got 1,600 watts of solar coming in, if you're putting out 1,800, you can see that you can get an actual quite a bit of uh, transfer of power directly from solar panels directly to whatever you want to charge, whether it be a car or something else. Pretty cool. Okay, I think we're done. Let's see what we got here. We got 4% left in that one. We got 0% left in that one. Still got some solar power coming in. Let's see what we got in the car. That's the piece de resistance. How much juice did we get? Well, that's pretty good. 86, I think we started with 63 off the double check, but 60, 63 to 86, I mean, you're talking 30, oh, excuse me, 23 miles. 23 miles. That's pretty good. 23 miles, and how long did it take? Let's see. We started at 11.15. It's currently one o'clock. So an hour and 45 minutes. What did I say, 26 miles? Not bad. One more thing I did want to make clear on this video before we let it go. Uh, all these devices that you see here that we used for this test today, not a single one of these was given to us or discounted. This is an unsponsored video. Every single one of these devices was purchased by us with our own money and we love them. Sweet. All right, so we got the results that we wanted. We charged for about an hour and 45 minutes from 11.15 until about one o'clock. 
Uh, we completely drained these EcoFlow devices down to nothing. Um, they did a great job charging the car. The car got up to 86 miles of range, so from 63 to 86 miles. So we got 23 miles of range in about uh, an hour and 45 minutes, charging level two, just from not being connected to anything. I thought that was a pretty electrifying result, so I'm charged up. Um, if you guys like this video, please let a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share, all that other cool stuff. Let us know what else you'd like to see us do with these EcoFlow devices or those blue, or those blue Eddy panels or the car or anything else. <laughs> and as I said before earlier on in the video, links for everything that we've done here and everything that we've used are in the description below. Also, don't forget, if we get this video out in time, uh, there are going to be Black Friday deals on all this stuff on Amazon. Uh, that's probably going to be a great time to purchase all this stuff if you actually did want to and save a couple of bucks. Not that this stuff is cheap, I'm not going to lie to you and say that this stuff is cheap, but I will tell you this, how much is it going to cost to actually build your own refinery? I think that's going to be a little more expensive than these are, and if you don't have your own refinery, you're not going to have gas if everything goes down. Just saying. Thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.